I have often said that I want religion to die, but I am not an anti-theist, as it is commonly understood. I will mourn the day that religion is no more. Recently, I was asked about this by a co-worker, and I thought this would be a good thing to share here. For those watching my Road to Atheism series, you know that I'm a recent deconvert from Christianity. And as I delve deeper and deeper into the history of religions, trying to understand that which before I blindly accepted, I have become angrier and angrier at the deception religion has played on humanity. The wars fought in the name of God or Allah, the torture and murder and rape inflicted on dissenters within those religions, the pain and suffering heaped upon innocent children from generation to generation, the discrimination against people of different ethnicities or religions, the hate levied against people of different sexual preferences or gender identity. I have anger, and it is a righteous wrath. I want religion to die. And still, I will mourn it. There is good in religion, though outweighed by the evil. There is beauty among the beasts, and diamonds hidden among glass beads. There is music lifted in praise of something greater than ourselves. Voices joined together that are haunting, emotional, and awe-inspiring. Music is a binding force that brings people together in a social and emotional unity, and I would mourn for its loss on the day religion dies. There is poetry and literature that were penned by literary geniuses, works of art in style, grace, and subtext. The writers of the Gospels wove stories with an often unappreciated skill and dexterity that continues to amaze me. The Quran has poetry in it that can bring tears with its eloquence and rhythm. I have read books and sermons so nuanced and breathtaking in their delivery that I will mourn for their passing. There is mythology and traditions that fascinate and inspire people. The lives of the saints have wonderful fables of brave feats and heroic deeds, of cunning saints embarking on dangerous quests, of knights fighting dragons and demons, of miracle workers and tireless scholars. I will mourn the passing of these myths on the day religion dies. I will mourn for the architecture built to glorify God and inspire humanity. Cathedrals with bristling towers, mosques with gold dome minarets, temples with pillars of marble, entire cities built to house the faithful, amazing statues that inspire and produce powerful emotional responses. I will mourn their loss when religion dies. I will mourn that the artwork is no more. What words can express the power of the Sistine Chapel or the sorrow of the Virgin Mary at the death of her son? Who can look upon Shiva the destroyer and not feel their own mortality? How can one not ponder religious art and not feel the centuries and millennia of belief and tradition behind it? I will mourn its loss. I will mourn for all these on the day religion dies. And I may be the only one that feels sorrow. I may be the only one who holds awake for faith. But I shall mourn. I will do my part to see religion falls into the obscurity it deserves the demise long past due. I will fight with reason, with logic and evidence. 
I will promote curiosity and commend skepticism. And I will celebrate when religion finally dies. And once the celebration is over, the party done, and all have left, I will light a candle for religion and pay my respects and mourn for beauty that is gone. I wish religion dead. I wish to see it end. And yet, I shall mourn.